Okay, is it working, Brandon? Yeah. Oh, it likes it that way. See that? Let's try that again. It wants to go down that way. Pretty cool, eh? I want it to speed up, though. You're pretty good. Look at that, eh? This motor is going all by itself. It's using electricity, right, Brandon? Yeah. Hmm? You want to say it keeps going and going until the battery's going to be dead, right? Okay, now. Hmm? How does it work? Okay. Well, whenever you have a coil, right? A coil, uh, and you pass electricity through it, it turns it into a magnet. And now that magnet is trying to stick itself to this magnet down here. See? Mm -hmm. Now, you would say, well, why does it turn? The thing is, what we do with this coil of wire is we take the coating off half of the wire on one side. It's only covered with uh, a little bit of varnish on one side. And what happens is when it's on one side, there's no power. But when it's on the other side, it turns the magnet on. So it goes on, off, on, off. And as it twirls around, as it twirls around, uh, it, uh, it makes it go. I've just put that close without touching it, and we want to figure out why the magnets make it turn. Do it again. There. There it goes. And it makes it turn rather than, okay, no matter which side you do it on, okay? And now the other thing about this is they're both magnets. If we take this and put it against the light, it sticks to it. And if we put this to there, it sticks to it. So they're both magnets, they're not coils, so I'll have to figure out how two magnets make it turn like a motor.